inflation. What's inflation? Raising of the cost of living. And I title it here, it's the socialist ATV. Because <laughs> it's actually, it's the methodology through which socialism is allowed to continue. But yeah, it's, it's the raising of the cost of living or the reduction in the value of your personal dollar. Yeah. Here we have um, the purchasing power of the US dollar from 1913 to today. If you take 1913 being valued at one dollar and chart it over time, the purchasing power of, of uh, today's dollar will only buy five cents worth of something in 1913. That's how much devaluation we've had in the, in the value of the dollar. Um, if we take a look at it the other way, in 1913, a dollar, to purchase a dollar's worth of stuff in 1913, takes $21.78 of our current dollars. So, you know, but a dollar, a dollar's a dollar, right? It just stays the same. Why was it important to have it tied to something like gold? That, you know, it is still just a piece of paper. It was a piece of paper then, it was a piece of paper now. It, back then and today, it is entirely based on what we decide to value. We, it still has value to us today because we decide that, okay, we'll accept dollars for our labor and other people accept those dollars in exchange for goods that we want to purchase. So it's still a medium of exchange. The big problem was that the gold minimized the inflationary effects of the dollar. And so we only had from 1940 to 1970, we only increased about you know, 250 in the value of the dollar. But from that time, it's gone crazy because we don't have anything to link it to. Okay, now let's look at the GDP. Now remember what we talked about in, with Keynesian economics. We constantly want to inflate the dollar through spending, which increases our GDP so we can spend more, right? Here's the reported GDP. Started in 1930 with 97.4 billion, and then moving on up until today, we're 14, 14 trillion, 515 billion dollars is the reported GDP. Pretty cool, huh? That's a lot of dollars. I mean, that's a healthy economy, right? Has there been some growth? Has there been growth in the economy at all? Well, let's look at uh, the GDP adjusted for inflation. Hmm. If we adjust for the inflation, our GDP today is only $725 billion. Now it's grown, it's obviously grown. It's a healthier economy than it was back in 1930, or there's more going on. But not $14 trillion worth. We only got $725 billion worth of exchanges that are happening in our economy today without inflation. So it's an illusion, the $14 trillion industry that we have, our GDP, is an illusion. It's not really there because our, value, our dollar has been devalued. <laughs>